it's me, Z. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's vlog, I wanna tour you around this typical Thai apartment. This is a cheap apartment for cheap people like me. And if you want a cheap apartment, please keep on watching. floors or may six floor pataas yung building tingnan niyo may mga CCTV every ano every floor kasi may naglilinis din na Janet Press every day so yeah, i think it's good <sighs> yeah. pwede pa lang mamuhay sa Thailand with simple life and kung di pa yung pinabayaran. So, ang kinuha namin guys ay yung without aircon. Pero provided naman yung electric fan. We also have this old refrigerator here. Nirentahan namin to for 1,000 but the whole stay na yun. I think it's still good naman. And of course, this microwave I bought is from Big C. And meron din silang dresser dito. Tingnan nyo. Ayan. Provided. May upuan na rin. And provided na rin yung cabinet. I put my water and food seasonings over here. Ayan. Mga laya, sibuyas, and also my plates over there. And dito na rin po ako kumakain. Ayan. So simple lang. ba? And with my bangkito. Look at this. Bangkito. Next, I also want to show you my cute Toilet. Ayan. It's so cute. My mirror na rin. Sink. And of course, my tabuk doon. Timba. Ayan. It's so cute. My shower. See? And this is the cute porch. Let's try to see. Okay, so dito na rin pa ako nagluluto. Ayan, and naguhugas ng pinggan. ba? I cook here kasi ayokong maamoy yung bedroom ko. Look at that. It's so cute. So, I want to show you the view of Nunthaburi, Thailand. By the way, guys, nandito pala tayo sa North Bori, Thailand. Malapit lang to sa Bangkok. It will just take you 30 minutes pag magtataksi ka from here to there. Diba? Lapit-lapit lang. Nakikita nyo to, guys. Ito. Itong apartment na to. Yung malaking apartment na to. This is where we stayed nung una. Pero hindi marunong mag-English yung landlord. Eh, ayun. Resulta. Pinalayas kami. So, that's it. Nandito kami sa bagong apartment, pero so sad nga. Actually, mas ma malapit yun sa 7-Eleven eh. Pero wala na talaga kami magagawa. And mas malapit din yun sa main road. Ayun, no? So now guys, ipapakita ko naman sa baba. Na part. Mag-refill tayo ng water. And lada ba. So I will show you how to use the washing machine sa baba. 
Diba? Dito ko nilalagay yung powder ko. It's so... Nagre-reuse lang ako. Ayan. Di fine. And this is my downy. Oh my gosh. Ito yung downy ko. Wait lang. Okay. Ano lang gamitin ko for today. So... Ayan. Ready na tayo. Baba na we. But before that, kunin ko muna yung ano. Siya yung points. Yung alkan siya ko. See? For washing machine, my 30 baht or 40 baht, and we need to use 10 baht lang. Ayan, no? Parang yung 10 pesos din dun sa Pinas, di ba? So, 30 baht. Kuha ko ng 40 baht para sure. Ayan. So, para naman sa ano, kailangan natin ng can I put it for 5 or pwede rin naman yung 2 baht o itong mga tigo 1 baht. So, pwede na. Pwede lang dito. Let's go. Hi guys! Oh, yan yung lalabhan ko. Ang dami, di ba? Ang dami kong lalaban. Ito tayo guys. Sa may washing machine area dito sa pinakababa. So, I want to choose this one. Tingnan nyo. Yung mga naka-open, they are still available. Tiyan. Yung mga luma. Yung okay. fine. Yan yung mga babayaran, no? Pero, kailangan 10 baht. Ten baht na coins ay lalagay. So, I want to choose this. Ito yung pinakagusto ko kasi pag nilalagay mo yung softener, kumakapit siya sa damit. Ayan. So, dun yung detergent. The softener. So, what are we waiting for? Let's put na. Pagyan mo na natin ng 30 baht. So, saan yung coins ko? Here. Okay, let's put it over there. Uy! Ayun yung sabi ko na kami. Ayun. Medyo luma na to. Ayun, parang ayaw na yung mga bagong tembat. Oh my gosh, ano yung mga siya? Ayun. Oh my god, ano siya. So, now it's time. O, diba? Ayun. Ayan, nag-start na siya. So, for... One hour. Ayan, di ba? Nag-automatic siya. So, it's time to put the detergent. start na siyang mag-wash. One hour. So, we'll wait for one hour, then we'll come back. Ngayon, mag-refill muna tayo ng water. May refilling machine sila dito. Guys, open? Okay, open? Oh, <laughs> grabe. Tapos per, ano, per, per liter, one bat. Diba? Ba't ang baba? <laughs> okay. So, ito five bat for five liters. And then, shoo, the ten. Diba, mura lang. Pag i-convert natin yung five bat, Parang nasa 8 pesos. So, 8 pesos. Tada! Wow! Ayun na tayong water. Wow! 
muna tayo, then balikan natin yung labada natin later. Let's check muna. Diba? Nag-start na siyang nag-wash. Look at that. So, balikan na natin to later. Let's go! Tapos may ano din pala dito, guys. Loading station. Ayan, look at that. Pwede kang mag-load dyan ng kahit anong sim. Ayan. So, ito yung mga style ng sim nila. Ito yung mga name ng sim. So, dun mo ilalagay yung bayad mo. Parang sa Pilipinas lang din. Tingnan natin yung isang kasama dito. Ate! Kinagawa mo? Ha? Hi! Oo oh, nga, walang internet eh. Si ate. Bye bye ate! Say bye bye! <laughs> Say hi to my vlog. Hi. <laughs> While waiting for the for our labada na matapos, kain mo na ako na dragon fruit. Wow. One hundred hours later. It's so finished now. baka nga pala itatanong nyo guys kung magkano ang rent namin dito per month so ito yung binayaran ko this month 2,456 but yung per room 2,100 that means the rest yan yung water bill and yung electricity bill can you imagine that? pag i-convert mo to sa Philippine money parang nasa uh, 3,500 pesos lahat na dun yung electricity bill and then yung water bill tapos yung room di ba and malapit pa kami sa Bangkok so well it's up to you to judge and give your opinion mura ba or mahal di ba okay so that's our Thai apartment tour and uh, tips para sa inyo kung gusto niyo ng kumita ng pera of course you need to find a comfy apartment like this pero cheap di ba Remember, we did not come here only to spend money, but to earn money. Dapat ganun. We need to balance it, di ba? E kung you can stay in an apartment like this, why not find an apartment like this? And tips nga pala you need to ask. If you have uh, Thai friends like that, mas maganda na lang na you can go with them. Uh, ask them to help you find and look for an apartment. Kasi, um, Some of the landlords cannot speak English, but I also recommend you to look for an apartment where in there is a landlord who can speak English. If you have any problem, if you don't understand, just like us before, we didn't speak English. The landlord namin. and then we were trying to ask for documents because we will be using that for our work permit, but they didn't give it. There is the language barrier. Ay, ay, pinalayas kami. Ang sakit nun, di ba? Ang sakit nun, di ba? Pinalayas kami dun sa apartment. Actually, mas, that, that, that apartment's cheaper din compared dito. Mas malawak pa yun, pero cheaper. And mas malapit pa siya dun sa 7-Eleven. Mas malapit siya dun sa main road. And it's kind of, oh my goodness. You need to, you need to find another apartment. Yun lang sinabi sa amin. Layas kayo dito, ganun. And, mas sakit yung ganun. Uh, dahil lang sa language barrier napapalayas ko rin mahirap kaya maghanap ng ano dito guys ng apartment lalo lalo na if you don't have any Thai friends who will be there to um, look for an apartment with you so ayun we recommend na at least nakapag English yung landlord ninyo 
hope this video helped you and gave you an idea about what a thigh appointment is. So please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to smash, smash. And please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. See you again next time. Bye and get less. Boom.